This is a downhill corner. In fact, this corner is so steep that it can be a little tricky to walk down. Now, you may have seen a corner like this and been filled with dread. I know that certainly used to be the case with me. But now, this is one of my favorite turns on this road. So what is the trick to take a steep, downhill, blind, decreasing radius corner like this and turn it from something sucky into something fun? Why is an uphill corner such a gas while a downhill corner isn't? Well, the answer is quite simply gravity. Fighting gravity on the way up helps us more accurately manage our speed and contact patch. If we get nervous, all we have to do is reduce the amount of throttle or even ease all the way off the throttle and the bike will slow down until we are happy with our speed again. Easy peasy. But also makes going back down harder because it's pulling us down the hill. It's a lot more challenging to manage our speed because easing off the throttle may not slow the bike down much at all. If you're still subscribing to the do all your braking before the corner idea, then this creates an even bigger challenge, right? In order to accelerate or even maintain throttle through a downhill corner, we must set our entrance speed so crazy slow so we don't end up going faster than we want to go before the end of the turn. Listen, here's the thing. If we wanna be able to control our rate of speed in downhill corners, the most effective way is to use our front brake a lot. Not surprisingly, Champ School says it best. Compared to going up the canyon, 100% more brakes going down the canyon. But won't using the front brake cause the front tire to slide out from under me? Well, we can't control everything. There might be diesel fuel in the corner, but front brake or not, spilled diesel fuel is a problem. That's all part of the risk of riding, so pay attention to the road surface and all of that. But in general, no. Not if you squeeze the brake. I mean, if our hand works like an on-off switch going from zero to 100% in an instant, then yes, you will likely land on your head. So let's not do that. Lightly drag our front brake, adding and subtracting small amounts of brake pressure to control our speed so that we are happy with how fast we're going. But doesn't using the front brake in a corner make the bike stand up and run wide? No, grabbing the front brake in the middle of the corner does all sorts of weird things, but that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about gently dragging the front brake to control our speed and help the bike turn. When we apply the front brake, especially when going down a hill, our weight goes onto the front tire and compresses the front fork, reducing the rake and trail of the bike to make it change direction. But if I'm using my front brake in a corner, won't that use up all my suspension with nothing left over for bumps? I suppose, but if your motorcycle forks are so soft that they bottom out under light braking, then your bike is in desperate need of a trip to your local mechanic and you probably shouldn't be riding it, but I doubt that's the case. Remember, we want the forks to compress a bit to help the motorcycle turn. We are not using 100% brake pressure or even 50%. We're using maybe 5% brake pressure. We want to smoothly add and subtract small amounts of front brake to control our speed. But I thought we needed to be on the gas to stabilize the chassis in the corner. So then shouldn't we be on the gas and the brakes at the same time? Nope we never overlap front brake and throttle. This is one of the very few absolutes in riding. Absolutely never overlap throttle and front brake. Wouldn't it be safer to drag my rear brake instead of my front? Well, you can and it works, but the front brake works a lot better. When we slow down, weight goes to the front tire, away from the rear. So we have more available grip on the front and less on the rear. Plus, all the benefits of the forks compressing to help the bike turn. We can also be a lot more precise with our hand, adding and subtracting small amounts of pressure than most of us can be with our foot. Look, riding through any downhill corner, especially a steep one, is going to be a lot more challenging. Despite what you may have read or even been taught, we are allowed, hell, we are supposed to use our front brake in corners. It's how the motorcycles are engineered and designed to work. What we need to do is be mindful of how we apply our front brake, smooth, progressive brake inputs. As we ride, we wanna keep our focus on where we are and what we are doing. 
downhill corners are hard. Try to enter them from the outside, within reason of course. Don't go into the oncoming lane or anything crazy like that. Going wide gives us more visibility. We can see further into the corner and opens the corner. It makes it less tight. We simply control our speed by gently adding and subtracting brake pressure with the throttle closed. We are in control. We decide how fast or slow we want to go. We want to ride at the speed that brings us joy. If we are nervous, we can add a little more pressure to bring the speed back down to where we want it. On super tight corners like these, be mindful that a car could be coming around at any moment. So keep our bike away from the center. If it's crazy steep and narrow, our best option may be to stay near the edge of the road. Make good choices. Make good choices. Make good choices. And it is totally okay to stay on that front brake with our throttle closed until we can see our exit. And we may stay on that front brake all the way through the corner. Don't worry about your brake pads. They're cheap and easily replaced. You're not. You're way more important than saving money on brake pads. Then when we can see our exit and take away lean angle, since it's a downhill corner, all we may need to do is release even more brake pressure and allow our speed to increase. The trick, well, it's not necessarily easy, but it is simple. Simply leave the throttle closed and stay with that front brake. Use finesse to add and subtract small amounts of pressure to manage our speed until we have direction. We are in absolute control of how fast we want to be going through any corner, especially downhill corners, and even more so in steep downhill corners. Listen, I've ridden down corners so steep that even if I had entered from a dead stop without using any brakes through the corner the way I was originally taught, I would still end up going too fast to stay on the road. Let's abandon those outdated 1970s riding methods. Instead of riding with hope, hoping we've slowed down enough, hoping it's not too steep, hoping it doesn't get any tighter, hoping we can lean over far enough, let's become technical riders and precisely manage our speed, be in precise control with the most powerful and versatile tool literally at our fingertips, our front brake. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please click on like and subscribe and consider joining as a channel member where you get all sorts of special perks. Thanks for watching, ride on and ride well.